When you have a quantitative or measured variable like the price of an order or the amount of time somebody spent on your website or the number of kids in a family, you want to make a histogram as a way of looking at the overall shape of the distribution. It helps you see if there's any spikes in particular places, helps you see if there's gaps and outliers. So let's take a look at some artificial data I have here on hypothetical orders or totals from particular clients. And we've got a bunch of rows of data here, 113. But let's just come over and click on insert chart. One of the things is Google Sheets again is smart and it's able to figure out that a histogram would be most appropriate for this. There's a few things that we need to change however. I need to click on this and get rid of the legend because it's just silly and taking up space. And what you can see is that most of the orders are down here low. It's drawing a box that goes from $0 to $1,650, the next one to $3,300. By the way, the width of these boxes, the fact that it goes to $1,650, then $3,300, that's called the bucket width or bin width. And it's arbitrary. You can make it as small as you want, as big as you want. What Google Sheets is doing is it's using a rule of thumb that says, you know, usually somewhere around 7, 9, 11 bars is best. And so it's dividing the data up to do that. And you can see we've got one case way up here, and we've got this big gap here in the middle. This is a skewed distribution, which is actually what you expect anytime you're dealing with something like money. And we've got this one big outlier. Now, when you have an outlier like this, the first thing you want to do is see, is that data correct? And if it is correct, then you get to decide what you want to include it in. It may be, for instance, that because it's so unusual, it represents a different category, you don't want to include it with the others. But let me show you a couple of things you can do to help clean up a histogram to help decide what's going on with your data. I'm going to double click on this. And well, since it brought me to this one, I'm just going to change the color because I prefer that color. But let me come back up to histogram. You can change the bucket size. Now, it's doing buckets at $1,650 each, which I think is silly. So I'm going to manually change them to $1,000 each. And while it does introduce a lot more empty space here, it's easier to read them. I'm going to change these values here and not have them slanted. Slanted is really hard to read. I'm just going to make them straight up vertical. At least it's easier to tell what's going on there. And so this is one way of looking at it. We still have this big outlier. We've got this huge gap, but it lets us know where most of our cases are. Now, Google Sheets does give you one option for dealing with outliers. Of course, you could just exclude it from the data, say this is not representative of the group that we want to deal with, or you could use a different kind of analysis. But there is one option. So I'm going to double click on this, come to the histogram, and it's this one right here. It's outlier percentile. And what this does is it takes the highest certain percent of cases and it brings them down and puts them in the next lowest bar. So watch what happens when I do this. Right now we've got this one case up here, we've got this huge gap, and then the next highest is at 5,000. So if I click this 1%, boom, it brings it way down. Now, what it's also done, unfortunately, is it's changed the way it draws the bins and labels them. And it gives them these really weird arbitrary cutoff points. And unfortunately, there's really not much you can do about that. You know, you can try going down to horizontal axis and manually setting the values to zero. But once you've done the binning thing, it, it, it doesn't have any effect. But it still lets you see the pictures that yeah, most of our cases are down here, then we got this, we've got this little gap here, then we got a couple of cases that are higher. You could do a higher percentage if you wanted. You could do, for instance, 5%, and you see it changes a little bit more, but you're never going to get rid of these weird bins down here. So the only way to get rid of those, by the way, is to just back up and do the undo and undo and undo, and now you're back to where you were originally. But the important thing here is that Google Sheets is able to draw a histogram by default. You're able to see that most of your order totals are in the 1,000 or 2,000 range. And then you got this really huge gap with this one extremely high total up here, more than three times as high as anybody else. But this is the purpose of a histogram to help you find these generalities where most of the orders are and the outliers exceptions. And so 
This gives you a good start on trying to make sense of your orders and what you want to do next in your business.